Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Lords of the Fallen with me, Brigitte Dog. Real quick. Alright, we don't have any skulls. Let's try and level up real quick. What a jerk. But he went out with a bang. Oh, hey. As you can see, I'm a man of my word for honor and camaraderie. As you can see, for honor. And then that confirms. This is going to be a boss fight. As you can see, I'm a man of my word. Oh, it's a light reaper. To fear now. Looks like he's powered by a parasite. Trying to figure out where. Give me that ram. Alright, so a good start. Alright, see the tether? Down below me. What happened to our buddy? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I need to destroy this parasite. Disappointing. Right, so it looks like there's an umbral entity blocking the path. So I have to go into Umbral, which I really don't want to do. have to die because I don't think we can access the uh, tentacles of this uh... Fun. Let's dance, buddy. I'll say he's not. Ah! 
Or is Sully winning? He's getting his health back while he's on his dragon. I definitely dodged through that. Is there two of them? That's cool. I think that's a symbol of a deer. I can take it all day. We're in a very similar situation. Can't miss time that one. I get a little hasty. Am I dead here? No, not quite. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I have to get on fire. Oh, you got me. Yeah, I guess that was bound to happen. So we need to take care of that uh, parasite. <laughs> would have made the fight a lot easier. I think we would have beat him. Before for the parasite. Now he may have had another phase. Oh yeah, I need to go into Umbral.
I don't particularly want to... Wasted the healing resources here. Well, I mean, this is this one's fine. Um, I saw one summon, I think that was Pieta. A Paladin Isaac. Tortured Prisoner will also help us. That's interesting. Though, I feel like she'll do fire damage, and this guy is a Rogar, so... Let's bring Paladin Isaac along. Uh, let's move these over to here. And I wouldn't mind having a flame or fire ward. Buddy, let's dance. I'm gonna grab my soul just real quick though. Get him, Paladin Isaac. Oh, did I destroy the parasite? Yeah, it looks like it's gone. Cool. Smite! Oh, where's his judgment? Good job, buddy. Good, good call. Backwards and sits to the side. <laughs> Whoops. Get out of the fire, buddy. Pretty sure we can't damage that thing, but I'm just gonna try anyway. Yeah, I can't lock on there because it kind of forces you into the trail when you try to dodge roll. you
Okay. Well, we won. We got a few items there. Abistaff is old news. We got something of Paladin Isaacs. I didn't see what it was. Hey, the Beast Axe. An axe of Uderon Grind origin, crafted in honor of the first of the beasts. We've seen that other description before. A Paladin Isaac's sword. I think we found that with the Paladin set behind that one door. So we got the Remembrance of the Light Reaper, a rusted and broken lamp. Light Reaper Flesh, a piece of flesh carved from the body of the Light Reaper. The Light Reaper's Umbral Parasite, an Umbral Parasite extracted from the Light Reaper. I swear we got something that said Paladin Isaac on it. To go back and check at some point. All right, uh, let's go see what we get from the Light Reaper at Skyrest. Honestly, the fight wasn't too bad. I misjudged a couple of things in the first effort. I think I could have beaten him when he was regenerating, but it looks like... I wish I remember what it was. We got something to Paladin Isaac, so I think it's best that we lost and did that for whatever it was that we got. I assume that it's a part of his quest, since the Light Reapers who killed him. Alright, the Light Reaper. A remembrance of the Light Reaper, a rusted and broken lamp. Recognizing the threat represented by the lamp bearer mission, Adir was able to obtain one of the Umbral Parasites and bind it to a Rogar, creating the Light Reaper, a creature unaware of the suspicion and disgust with which he would always be regarded by his creator. I see his swords, his daggers, his spear, his shield. His armor set, which is all medium, so I don't care about it. And severing blades. Let's set forth a pair of flame blades. Nice, I don't care about any of that. Uh, we get the last piece of the Hush Saint set. I guess the shield as well. This is a throwing weapon. Let's grab the uh, Corrupted Banner Javelin. The remnants of a war banner can be thrown or placed in the ground, inflicts physical damage and fire damage. I never did get Pieta's sword. <laughs> My bad. One day, maybe. It's cool, I think Piana can be summoned for every fight. Which makes her a fun little companion. What happened to, uh, what's-his-face? Did he die in that fight? 
He wasn't an option to summon after the fact. Andreas of Ebb. I guess we go in this direction. That's where the beacon is at. I have a destiny to seize, and that lamp is the key, and you're in my way! Super aggressive. Gotta hand it to him. Not to parry his attacks, but they're so inconsistent. You are. All right, so I got his sword, his sleeves, book of lineage, and his ring. It's a lot of stuff to look at. So Andreas of Ebb's sword requires agility and strength. A sword once carried by Andreas of Ebb. Andreas had always known. We've already read that description. That comes with the book of lineage as well. Uh, Andrews of Ebb sleeves. Uh, sleeves crafted by the most exclusive outfitter in Ebb. Andrews' book of lineage is far from the only text to state that Antanas bravely led his armies into battle clad in resplendent armor, bearing the face of a lion. And so before leaving for Mornstead, Andrews commissioned the creation of something similar to symbolize his own fearlessness. Except he wasn't fearless. And his ring, an expensive ring, Grievous strikes deal additional damage. And we have the Book of Lineage, but I'm not sure why. Well, that's two bosses down. Who's next? Oh, that's right, there was that big door. We couldn't interact with it. But there's a bunch of uh, bodies strewn out in front of it. Now, I wouldn't mind... Stop dodging me, buddy. <laughs> I've had about enough of that. Honestly, I wouldn't have minded having uh, Andrews' armor. 
That looks pretty cool. I wonder if there's another way to handle his quest line. Maybe I messed up something somewhere. Not that way. Must be this way. How much death is on my hands? I'm eternal. Wait, your life is nothing. Looks like he's immune to the lamp, which I think is his own lamp, right? So that makes sense why we can see him in Umbral sometimes. We can't parry his attacks, but he's back in the ground. He's not swinging at us. That should have been a parry. Unlocked it. I could see what's going on. It was kind of fun just trading blow for blow with the, uh, the hammers. But now they I know that he's there. I can special. buff up a bit. All right. So do this one more time.
I gave up the chance to hit him. To grab my finger. This may have been a mistake. Oh my gosh, I can't move. hammer let's go rest up and uh, we'll take a look at that next time but for now I'm gonna call it here and uh, I guess we'll continue our journey past the Iron Wayfarer's last stand so thanks for watching I hope to see you guys in the next one